In this video, I'm going to share with you how I turned my old HP G62 laptop into a fast, reliable Chromebook. So what we have here on the screen is an image of an old laptop. I bought it in 2009, and at that time it was pretty nice. Windows 7 had just come out, and I paid maybe 300 bucks for this laptop back in 2009. Let's look at some of the specifications for this bad boy. Now, these may not be the exact specifications of my exact computer, but it's pretty close. Like I said, mine is an HP G62, and it has, it looks like, 3 gigabytes of system memory, of RAM, a pretty big hard drive. I don't recall exactly how big. And you can see it's got an AMD Athlon 2 dual-core processor. So, you know, this was pretty decent back in the day. But for the last four years or so, this computer has been basically unusable. I would try to plug it in, turn it on. It would take several minutes just to get turned on. And then to get on the internet and actually accomplish something took much longer. The software that I have installed on it became basically unusable. And it was mostly due to speed. The technology has advanced dramatically, but my laptop is stuck in 2009, which is eight years ago at this point. So how did I turn this clunky slow, outdated, unusable laptop into a fast, reliable Chromebook? Well, the first thing that happened is that I stumbled upon this article in The Verge. I was reading one of my technology blogs and I saw this title, How to Turn Your Old PC into a Speedy Chromebook for Free. That grabbed my interest and I watched this video. I also read this article and notice what it says here. It says one of the great ironies of the cloud computing age is that the five to 10 year old laptop gathering dust in your desk drawer probably has more horsepower than a top of the line Chromebook, which just hit the market. So think about that for a minute. My old HP G62 laptop from eight years ago, it's got three gigs of RAM and it's got actually a pretty big hard drive. I think it's 280 gigabytes, something like that, which today doesn't sound that big, but compared to a Chromebook, my old laptop actually has a pretty good amount of RAM compared to a modern Chromebook. And the reason why is because Chromebooks are designed simply to use Google Chrome for the most part. That's their main purpose. That's the only function that they really do. And so they don't require a lot of resources. So my old laptop is actually loaded with technology and features and power that your typical Chromebook just doesn't have. Okay, so even though it's an outdated laptop, it could be a great fast Chromebook. So after reading this article, I decided to head to Neverware which is a website and it's a company that produces a program called Cloud Ready. So I headed over there to neverware.com. This is what it looks like. Notice what it says, introducing Cloud Ready, the Chromebook experience you love, the PC you already have. And this is a very interesting startup company. There are other companies out there that are trying to do this same kind of thing and they may be more or less expensive than this, but Neverware is the company that I have some experience with, so that's why I'm sharing it. Now I did mention price. Notice what it says here, get started for free. There's actually three different options when it comes to price. If you're trying to convert a laptop to a Chromebook for school purposes, for work purposes, and for home purposes. And the reason it's a little different for school or work is because in a lot of cases, the IT people at your organization will want to have some control over the Chromebooks. They might want to change the settings on all the Chromebooks all at once. They might want to be able to enable and disable different aspects of G Suite or Google Apps. And so to do that kind of thing, you would need to pay Neverware for that capability. But if you just have an old laptop and you want to turn it into a fast Chromebook, you can use the for home options, which are free. So I'm gonna click get started for free. It takes me down and it talks about that. There is a free trial for organizations if you wanna give it a try and see how it goes. Or you could just do home edition for individuals. I'm gonna click home edition for individuals. And these are the first things that you would need to do if you want to convert your old laptop to a fast Chromebook. First off, you would need to download their software, which is called Cloud Ready. And there are two options, 64-bit, and 32-bit. And the one that you pick will depend on your computer, the computer that you're trying to convert. So my HP laptop from 2009 is actually a 64-bit computer. So that's the option that I chose. But if you have a really old one, or if you check the laptop itself and it says it's a 32-bit or a 64-bit, you know, just pick the one that's right for your computer. 
and it is important to get the right one. So anyway, I just downloaded the 64-bit Cloud Ready, and then you need to go here where it says Installation Guide. So I clicked on that, and it gives me an overview. It says what you need, and let me zoom in on that just a little bit. This overview tells me what I'll need. First, I'll need 20 minutes to create a USB installer. Next, in order to create the USB installer, I'll need to have a working PC, Mac, or Chromebook that's running the Chrome browser. So this is not the old laptop that we want to turn into a Chromebook. No, you need another device, one of these options. Also, you'll need either an 8 gigabyte or a 16 gigabyte USB drive, USB stick or flash drive. Now notice it's very specific. It must be an 8 gig or a 16 gig. When I first heard about this, I thought for sure that my 64 gigabyte flash drive would work. No, it must be 8 gigs or 16 gigs. Also, SanDisk USB devices are not recommended. They don't always work as well when you're trying to do this kind of a conversion. And so, of course, that's all I had was SanDisk USB devices. So I had to go out and buy a $7 USB flash drive. And I'll put a link in the description below to the flash drive that I bought. But there's many that would work, I'm sure, just fine. Next, you need to check the network, make sure that you're connected. So you would check your connectivity. And then next, you need to check the hardware compatibility. So this is referring to the old laptop, the one that you want to convert to a fast Chromebook. Is it compatible with the Cloud Ready software? Is it going to work for you? So they have a list here of certified models that they have tested and they have experience with. And if your laptop is on this list, you have a great chance of this working. And you can see there's Acer, there's Apple, old Apple computers, Asus, Dell, and on and on. And I believe there are some HPs. You can see there's some HPs, compacts there. And uh, it's a pretty long list. So fortunately, you can search. And when I searched, it found several HPs. The bad news for me was that my old HP G62 was not on this list. At least it wasn't at the time when I tried it out. So at first I lost hope and I thought, you know, it's just not going to work for me. But notice what it says here on the check hardware compatibility section. It does say if your model is not on the list, there's a good chance it will still work. However, there may be some unstable behavior and their support team can't assist with troubleshooting. So you know what? I thought maybe I shouldn't do this. And then I realized, you know, I haven't opened this laptop and really used it for four years. I was getting ready just to recycle it, donate it to somebody, or I don't know. And so I thought, it's worth a try. So I went ahead. Down here in the lower right corner, it says, next, build the installer. And it takes me to a screen where I have to decide, am I going to do this on a Windows computer, on a Mac, or on a Chromebook? So right now I'm on a Mac, so I will go to that section. But just know that you could do this successfully using any of these three kinds of computers. Just click on the right one and then click where it says unzip cloud ready file. Now at this point you just need to follow the instructions on the screen. They may be a little bit different for Windows as compared to Mac or Chromebook, but just follow the instructions that you see in front of you. For me I had to download this unarchiver and then I had to you know follow these steps here, but basically you are unarchiving the cloud ready software. Once the file is extracted You'll have another Cloud Ready file, but it'll have a little bit different extension to it. Now remember, this is on a Mac. On a Windows computer, it's slightly different, and same with on a Chromebook. But next, once you've done whatever those instructions are, you go down and it says install and launch the Chromebook Recovery Utility. And so this is a little utility that you can add to the Chrome browser. And it says you must have this extension installed to create a Cloud Ready installer. So you click on that. It takes you to the Chrome extensions web store, and then you would simply add it to Chrome, and then it should put it in your list of extensions. Okay, so notice it says add to Chrome. You'll click it, and it'll add it to your extensions and to your apps. So that when you click this colorful waffle button here in the upper left, it'll take you to this screen, and there's the recovery app that's listed there or extension. Okay, so next up, launch the app and click on the blue Get Started button. So you'd click Get Started. Locate the gray gear icon on the top right of the window. 
and you're going to use this to create a recovery media for your Chromebook. Next, we just continue to follow these instructions. I'll walk you through them, but they're listed here on the website. So you click on the gray gear icon, choose Use Local Image, locate the Cloud Ready bin file that you extracted using Unarchiver. Now again, this is the Mac specific. And then follow the instructions on the screen. When you're prompted, insert that 8 gigabyte or 16 gigabyte USB flash drive, and then follow the instructions on the screen. So you'll probably click Continue and go from there. Once the process is completed, you'll take out that flash drive, and now that flash drive is ready to be a cloud-ready installer. Okay, so now we move on to the next part of it, where you plug the cloud-ready installer into a computer that you want to convert. And so it says to permanently install CloudReady on the computer you choose. Each computer needs to start or boot from the CloudReady USB installer that you created. So this is each computer that you want to convert, right? So this is called USB booting, and all computer models certified to work with CloudReady are capable of it. Now on mine, mine wasn't certified to be CloudReady, and the instructions didn't quite get me there, but I was able to figure it out anyway. So it might take some trial and error if yours is not on the certified models list. Okay, so next up, make sure the chosen computer is turned off, plug in the USB installer that you previously created, and then you want to start from the USB installer. And it says, turn on the machine while repeatedly pressing the machine's special boot key. The special key varies between different computer manufacturers. And notice what it says, for HP, tap F12 when the HP logo is displayed. This didn't work for me. And the reason why is because my HP is not on that certified list. It's got a different key to use, and I wish I could remember what that key was. It might have been F4, but if I recall correctly, I think, whatever the key was, I think when I turned on my computer, it was actually displayed. Like, tap this for help, or something like that. But anyway, my point is, if you don't have a certified model that it's guaranteed to work with, you need to try other options, okay? And maybe try the other options that are listed here. So F12, that's a common one, but maybe try tapping escape. Try tapping F1 through 12, or maybe hold enter during boot up. So you could try some of these other options if F12 doesn't work for you, okay? At that point, you'll get a menu, you use the arrow keys and enter a key on your keyboard to select the Cloud Ready USB installer as the boot device, okay? So you can read through the rest of this, but once you've done that, you'll see a network configuration page. Notice that you can ignore this box about configuring networking. You don't have to do that before setting this up. Next, you click on the clock, the menu pops up, the first option, Install Cloud Ready. You would simply click that button and a wizard will pop up that will walk you through the rest of it. You click Install Cloud Ready. Then you have to choose, do you want standalone installation where your computer now is strictly a Chromebook? Or do you want dual boot option? That's where you can have Windows and you can have Chromebook. Now, notice that not all computer models are capable of it. And I have not tried this myself. I've only done the standalone. So I don't know what to say about dual boot, but notice you'll choose which of the two options just by clicking and then it'll install. When installation is finished, your machine will shut itself down. You can then unplug the installer, the USB installer, and turn the computer back on. And then you'll be presented with the same setup menu as Chromebooks where you can select the language, you can put in the keyboard you want to use, and then you can connect to a network. There might be some updates and then you'll just be taken to the regular standard Google login screen. And you'll be able to sign in. Your username must be a gmail.com address or a Google domain registered through the Google Admin Console. So notice that. Next, if you want, you can install Adobe Flash and other things, and it has instructions on how to do that. It'll help you do that if you want to. You can manage plugins. And so at that point, if things go as well as they did for me, you have a Chromebook, and I think you'll be surprised at how well it works. Now, if you have some trouble with doing this, notice there is a button there to get help, and for free users like me, you can go to these forums where you can get some help from others that may have experienced similar issues. These other options you only get if you pay for the paid version of CloudReady. 
So I want to show you my HP G62 as a Chromebook. Take a look at this. It works very well. Let me sign into my account. You can see how quickly it loads. And I'm using this just like I would a Chromebook. I love it. So you can see it still does take a little while to load. That's not blazingly fast. But compared to what this laptop was doing before I converted it, it's much, much faster, much more doable. And again, this is going from completely off to my Google account on the Chromebook. And of course, in a lot of cases, you don't really turn off Chromebooks. You just close the lid, you just put it to sleep, and then when you're ready to use it, you just open the lid and you sign in and use it. Now that it is signed in, let's look at how quickly it surfs from website to website. So still not perfect, not amazing, but I'll tell you, we're getting a lot more use out of this laptop than we were before we converted it. This is now a Chromebook that gets used for homework, for projects, for work projects, all sorts of things. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you have good success converting your old laptops to fast Chromebooks. And thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students and watch for a new video at least every Monday.